how to measure a Cobb angle, and what does it mean for someone with scoliosis. A Cobb angle is a measurement that's obtained during a scoliosis x-ray. A scoliosis involves the development of an unnatural sideways bending curvature with rotation, and the rotation is typically into the concavity of the scoliosis. To measure a patient's Cobb angle, lines are drawn from the topmost tilted vertebra and compared to the most tilted vertebra on the bottom of the curvature, and that these tilts are expressed in degrees. A patient's Cobb angle is needed to classify or to diagnose the severity of the scoliosis. Now, when we look at the severity of the scoliosis, it's one of the parameters that have to be met in order to be diagnosed as a scoliosis, the Cobb angle must be 10 degrees or greater. Meaning if somebody has nine degrees, it's officially not diagnosed as a scoliosis, but it doesn't mean that they don't have a scoliosis developing. There are many different spinal conditions that can cause a loss of healthy curvatures. However, when there's an unnatural curvature with a rotation, it must be a minimum size of 10 degrees to be considered scoliosis. A Cobb angle measurement helps diagnose, assess, and classify the condition. When a scoliosis is diagnosed, Part of the process involves a comprehensive examination and then involves classifying the scoliosis based upon key factors, such as patient's age, condition type, where the curve is located, and also condition severity. The patient's Cobb angle also classifies the severity, and this is what most patients are interested in. The higher the patient's Cobb angle, that means the more tilted the vertebra are, which means the, the greater the scoliosis is. When we look at a mild scoliosis, this is where the Cobb angle measures between 10 and 25 degrees. A moderate scoliosis is where a Cobb angle measures between 25 and 40 degrees. A severe scoliosis is when a scoliosis measures 40 degrees or greater. I also like to use a last category, which is called very severe scoliosis, and this is when a scoliosis measures 80 plus degrees. As these Cobb angles get more severe or greater in number, the greater the effect the scoliosis can have on the patient. When we look at these angles, we, these angles also help us determine the treatment plans that are normally shaped around these types of severities. Meaning when we look at these classifications in terms of particularly how severe a scoliosis is, the more severe the, the scoliosis, the more, the more significant the treatment will be and also the more significant the effects the scoliosis will have on the person's body. Now we know all scoliosis starts off smaller and progresses into a more severe range. So therefore treating scoliosis at earlier sizes or smaller sizes is key to preventing a more severe scoliosis, especially when it comes to conservative treatment methods. Now our treatment method, we try to treat scoliosis as soon as we diagnose it. However, most traditional approaches normally wait for curves to become severe and then start to treat the scoliosis. And this reactive versus proactive approach is one of the key differences. So there Therefore, when we look at small curvatures and assessing the size, this is one of the key pieces of information in order to determine the treatment plan, the plan of action, and whether we think a curve is going to progress during growth phases. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.